Hey YouTube, uh, this is The Art of Prepping. So what does um, Paracord and Jute Twine have in common, if anything? Um, I was able to get about five things that I, I mean, just in a quick, you know, short amount of time. Um, and I, I figured out that they both uh, make good fire tenders. Uh, as we know that um, uh, these fibrous materials, uh, even though this is natural material with the Jute Twine, uh, the Paracord also is flammable. Uh, the key with both of these is to uh, increase the surface area, so you'd want to uh, basically fluff the jute twine and, uh, and pull apart as best you can the paracord. Um, in terms of um, the other thing that, can, that you can find, especially represented here with the jute twine, uh, it can be dyed in different colors. And the same thing with paracord, they, they come in a lot of colors as well. So you can kind of match uh, your cording uh, to maybe your gear uh, or to your needs. And, um, and so that's, that's a cool bonus. Uh, not every rope, like for example, you don't find usually, well at least I've never seen it, bank line in different colors. Uh, it might be out there, but I've never seen it. Uh, and uh, just like a uh, fishing line, um, I just don't remember seeing like a lot of choices in color. I don't, I think it's either clear or clear, uh, if, if memory serves me right. I think some, some of it, I think, I think I've seen a black black fishing line before but anyways for the most part though you can customize the colors here now um, the third thing is to uh, to make simple lashings uh, like to, to build uh, maybe a structure or a shelter uh, and, and these do really well with that now you gotta remember the paracord depending on what kind is going to typically be a lot stronger than jute twine and so you know you have to kind of uh, uh, be mindful but so you may want to you know wrap the jute twine a couple more times than a paracord but no doubt about it, you can make lashings. Uh, the next thing would be tie downs. Uh, once again, you know that you have to just be mindful of what you're tying down. If there's a really strong wind and you have a tarp, uh, you know, it's possible that the wind could snap the jute twine. So you might want to double and triple it over uh, versus the paracord. But they both do a really good job. And the last thing that I've noticed is that there's a lot of different first aid applications that they both can do very well. Uh, mainly, you know, to create slings, uh, to create splints, uh, and to uh, to be a, a bandage wrap. You can, you know, secure that bandage on your uh, on your body. And so they, they both do just fine. Uh, I'm sure there's probably literally hundreds, if not thousands, of things that each of these types of uh, cording can do besides that. These are just like the top five that I noticed that they had in common. Uh, feel free to put in the comment section things that you think that are they also have in common that I missed. And as always, thanks for watching.